although the Netherlands is a very small country, it's actually one of the top ones in the world for astronomy and astrophysics. At the University of Amsterdam, our specialization is roughly what we call the life cycle of stars. For the research projects, students can basically specialize in anything they like across the range of either more uh, what we call observational or experimental projects to theoretical. Most of the time you're making models in your computer and then uh, once or twice a year you uh, go and uh, observe. The La Palma project, as we call it, is when we take all the first-year students down to La Palma in the Canary Islands, and um, there's a 1.2 meter telescope that we use. And the idea behind this is to show students what it's like to actually do real science. And being reality, there's always a problem, maybe bad weather, some technical issues. Um, but then they have to correct for this, think on the fly, and eventually come up with a decent project completion. The excursion to La Palma was a unique experience to uh, write your own proposal for research and then actually go to La Palma yourself and in uh, one week uh, do all the measurements. By uh, looking at the spectrum of high mass star, we investigated the mass transfer between this high mass star and a uh, black hole. The style of teaching here at the University of Amsterdam is, I think, uh, really interactive and uh, Teachers uh, really encourage students to uh, ask as many questions as possible. Would you expect any differences uh, in the radii if you form a large Jupiter-like planet by slowly accreting or with this uh, disk instability for young systems? Uh, that's a good question. Um, yes. You were... What I've been told from the students in general is that we are considered one of the most friendly, informal and open uh, institutes at the university. Every Thursday, uh, there's a, a pizza a lunch talk. Uh, sometimes it's astronomy related, sometimes it's uh, not. There's a real atmosphere of work hard, play hard here. Most of the students who finish a degree here often go into science doing a PhD of one kind or another, uh, but that's not necessary at all. And we find that a lot of our graduates also go on to work for, for instance, consulting companies, government agencies. It's a challenging program, so you don't have a lot of spare time, but in the weekends I play some music in a band and I'm going to give uh, guided tours at the planetarium. People generally don't like to leave. We have to sort of throw them out at the end.